Good morning, nieces and nephews. Welcome back to the Uncle Bo Gator channel. Uh, you guys have seen over the last couple of months that uh, I've been riding around on a couple of different electric bikes and my absolute favorite one so far has been the Aora M1 PS Knight. Some of my regular viewers haven't really appreciated that because I do focus primarily on the uh, traditional internal combustion motorcycles. But as an alternative to running around town on those burning gas, I do love spending time on my Knight M1 PS. That's not just me shilling. Uh, my grandson recently started riding a little electric uh, dirt bike. He's five years old. This is a great way for us to get out together, ride through all the streets of our neighborhood. I've run errands on this thing, and I take it to the hardware store, the auto parts store, whatever. If I'm not going far, I live in a pretty small town, so it's nothing for me to hop on that thing and just zip around. And I get a lot of looks, and a lot of people have questions about it. So she's a little bit dirty. Like I said, she gets used. It's not like uh, just sits in the garage. I absolutely love this thing. But today, we have a special treat. Aora also makes a sidecar that attaches to either uh, this M1PS or the previous model, the M1P. And uh, they were kind enough to send this out to me. And uh, so we're gonna install that thing on here today. And I'm gonna give my grandson a ride around our beautiful, quiet neighborhood. So without further ado, let's turn this one seater into a sidecar spectacle all right first things first we got to unpack the box these are actually quite popular um they wanted to send me this thing back in april and today's june 1st uh, but they were sold out not surprising at all this is very well uh packaged and protected oh lots of styrofoam baby i'm hoping this is not too involved because i'm pretty excited about it and i want to get out and ride it uh, I don't know how it's going to handle. I know you can't lean on these like you can when they're two-wheel. Looks like a little, uh, <laughs> it's like a little jelly bean in there. All right, I want to cut this uh, cellophane wrap off without damaging anything that's inside. Here's the hoping. I definitely don't want to scratch the paint on it. All right, looks like some tools, some more parts, another tool, the back. The windshield, ah, your suspension. Why well, can't wait to find the instructions because uh, I don't think I would know what to do with that. <laughs> Here's the wheel. Again, it's a uh, pretty high quality motorcycle tire. I dig that. All right, there is an instructional video from Aora that I will link down in the description. Um, I did briefly watch that before uh, coming out on today's adventure, so I might have to reference that a few times as we put this together, but I won't record referencing it. Just know that it's there, and it's gonna be down in the description below. All right, I do know that this first piece here, I know this is gonna mount on here, right? Or maybe it's, yeah, like that, because your suspension is gonna go here in this little bracket. So let's work on getting that piece on first. All right, so what we're doing here, um, it's kind of a triangle shape, so we want to make sure that that's on there uh, like this, All right? We're gonna put this guy. I'm just gonna put a couple of a uh, couple of bolts and nuts in. You want to make sure this thing is up all the way forward, as far as it'll go towards the curve. Um, that way, there's room to put this bracket on in the back here. Otherwise, you're not gonna have space for it to line up with the holes properly. All right, not the easiest to get to, but not impossible. All right, we got the uh, mounting bracket on. The instructional video will tell you to put this sidecar onto the Knight M1PS first. Uh, however, I'm gonna put the side wheel on first, and this, the reason is I want something on this side to support it while I'm putting it on there so, so it doesn't pull on the motorcycle, you know what I mean? So you've got the big side that goes here, onto this axle. The axle is greased, so be uh, be careful with that. We'll tighten that down here in just a minute. And then we'll stick this guy down here this way, put the nut on the end, and then we'll tighten these guys up. Perfect, 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 perfect. Uh, so far I've done everything with the tools provided. This is a 17 millimeter, I believe, yep. Um, if you have your own tools, by all means, use those. But so far, so good with these guys. All right, this lug wrench, a little tight going in there. 
but it's in. Heck yeah, baby. All right, that's tightened. We'll take these lug nuts off, pop the wheel on. Um, it doesn't have the uh, correct tire pressure, so before we ride, I'm gonna make sure the tire pressure is correct on all three of the wheels. All right, put those guys on. And the lug nuts. Screw those down. We'll tighten them all up. And then we'll be ready to uh, put the sidecar onto the Knight M1 PS. Okay, now adding the wheel on to the sidecar first does a couple of things. Now the positive is that it gives me something to balance the car on while I put this um, put this connector through. But the negative side is that uh, it's going to make it more difficult to put on the fender. But I think I'd rather do it this way than the other way. So with that said, here we go. Okay. All right, we gotta get this axle in. Push that. Okay, there we go. Bang on it. If you have to, you can get a hammer, get a hammer. There it goes. All right. Heck yeah. You probably can do this by yourself, but uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's easier with a friend. At least that part, at least the way I did it. All right, now I put these little collars on. This is another spot where we're gonna use a friend. My wife is my friend. All right, you're gonna have to lift that bike towards this way. Here we go. There we go. Hey, where there's a will, there's a way, fam. So now once these are on, it's fully supported. And this is where the axle covers go. Uh, there is a smaller one and a larger one. So be mindful of that when you put those on. There we go. All right, here's what I was talking about. By putting that wheel on first, uh, it makes it a little bit more difficult to get the fender on. I I'm gonna try to get a really good camera angle on this, but I don't know that I'll be able to. The way it works is you've got two, two bolts and, and, and two nuts. Um, this is gonna go on this way, but they're gonna bolt down uh, to those two holes right there. So we're gonna give her a shot, man. See what I can do. All right, I won't have multiple angles here on these. All right, so uh, we found our first uh, first set of missing tools. So you are gonna need a 10 millimeter for these little nuts, and you're gonna need a size four hex bit. All right, I think it was a mistake putting this wheel on first. <laughs> oh boy. All right, don't do what I did. We're gonna take this wheel back off. Actually, if you uh, if you do this by yourself, um, I did, I did use some help from my wife, but if you do it by yourself, it still might not be a bad idea to use the uh, wheel to give yourself some leverage. Um, just don't torque the uh, lug nuts all the way down like I did. That way you can take it on and off. And then you can use something up under here to kind of stack it up to put it back on. So give me one second, we're gonna get this wheel back off. I don't think you can see in here. I think the fender's pretty much in the way, but um, we're gonna put this 10 millimeter up here uh, if you've got a four millimeter ratchet, like a ratcheting hex bit, that's probably the way to do it, but I don't have that. So put the windshield on, take the remainder of the plastic off, and we're gonna take this baby for a ride. All right, last step before we air it up, take it for a ride. We're gonna pull these little guys out. They come pre-installed. You need a 10 millimeter on the inside and a four millimeter hex bit on the outside. There we go. Tighten those guys up. I don't want to pull it too tight because uh, this is just a uh, plastic-based windshield. You can do some damage if you may do it too much. Nice. Nice. All right. Pull this plastic off the seat. That's always a plus. Getting rid of that garbage, huh? Save the best for last. All right. We got her all put together. So what I want to do is uh, I've got a lot of trash out here from the packaging. Um, I'm gonna get myself cleaned up, clean up around here a little bit, and next we meet, we'll be back on the night, M1PS, all aired up and ready to ride. We'll take my grandson around for a ride. I like that. We'll see you then. All right, my friends, here she is. Uh, we got it all 100% charged up, 
and uh, I did take it on a little bit of a test ride earlier, and I want to um, I want to go over a couple of things that I learned slash figured out. For one, the bike was pulling really hard to the right, and I was really struggling to keep it straight. And what I figured out is that um, this control rod here, these are uh, 20, 23 millimeters. You can undo these nuts and um, take this off and adjust it, align it, grab a friend. I grabbed my wife to help me with that. And I made it longer to push it more up. The whole thing was leaning to the right. Also, I am a big guy. I'm not shy about that. And uh, because this is completely on the swing arm, uh, I noticed that uh, when I sit down, watch, see that does a little bit of a dive? Well, it was uh, a lot more significant earlier. And uh, these shocks, I forgot these were 100% adjustable. There's a little 330 seconds Allen screw in here that uh, locks this into place or unlocks it. So I, I, I twisted these in and adjusted the preload as tight as they would go on both sides. So that way we had less of an impact. Now, what good would a test of a sidecar be if we did not have a passenger so we're going to take my grandson along on this uh this little journey and uh, he's going to be borrowing my wife's helmet there we go because uh the scene and devices we can communicate with each other uh like we mentioned earlier putting it together the thing has a seat belt can you hear me yeah all right he's on comms with us you ready to go yeah did you have fun on our test ride earlier yeah, we went to pick up tacos earlier, off camera. All right, here we go. Let's make like a tree. Get out of here. And get out of here, that's right. Yeah, I, earlier I had to fight this thing pretty hard to keep it, uh, keep it from pulling all the way to the right. I don't really have a destination in mind. We're just gonna go out for a nice little, little ride. Uh, earlier, my Cena battery was completely dead. So uh, that's one reason why I didn't record that ride. We went over to our favorite taco spot, grabbed some tacos. Yeah, we needed to charge some things. And uh, yeah, that, that fixed, tightening up that suspension seems to have fixed it because now we're not bottoming it out, at least not yet. Now we're not hitting the ground this time, buddy. You like that? Yeah. Yeah. We've got some really pretty roads back here that I like going down on uh, just about any of my motorcycles. What's your favorite part about riding in this thing? Uh, taking a little ride. Taking a little ride? Yeah. Yeah, I like taking a little ride too. Uh, there is some uh, power decrease with the, uh, the added weight and friction. So you've got another tire that's uh, grabbing the road that adds some friction. And you've got some more weight, not just, uh, not just me, <laughs> even though I'll slow it down plenty. But uh, now we have a sidecar attached to this thing. And we have the weight of my uh, my grandson here. So uh, normally I would have been about 50 miles an hour through there, but on that hill, but uh, she kind of topped out at about 39. And now we're on a little bit of a downhill so we can get up into the mid forties again. Yeah, like I mentioned earlier, uh, when I was putting this thing together, or just before putting it together, this, uh, I, I do love this thing. I, we, I ride it gosh quite often it was every day uh when he first got his uh little electric dirt bike we were riding around the neighborhood every day now we do that sometimes but uh it's just been a great great little bike man now with the sidecar we can uh maybe take him to some places maybe downtown do you like feel on the wind yeah yeah i like feel on the wind too that's one of the best parts about riding a motorcycle Woo! Bottomed out that time, didn't we? That was a bump. Yeah. Can't help it. Does that hurt you when it does that? No. Okay. <laughs> I think it's cute for... What? It's just scary for me. It's scary for you? Yeah. Yeah, it would be scary for me, too. Yeah, Glenwood is... Uh, yeah, it's part of old, old D-Land. And it still, it still has the quaint charm to it. Just like... A lot of small towns in America, we're getting our fair share of big developments, housing developments being built. Yep, just cruise along, 42 miles an hour. Speed limit through here is 40 anyway. 
one of the reasons I would opted to come back here on these roads uh, instead of some of the uh, bigger highways in town is because the speed limits are 40 miles an hour back here. So uh, while there is a lot of speeding that happens back here, uh, it's not as bad as if I was on Highway 17 uh, or Highway 15A, which is uh, the two little highways that go through our town. All right, we're almost back to the house. I'm going to get up there and... Uh, I'm just going to enjoy the rest of the ride from here on out. Can't share with you everything, you know what I mean? So, yeah, we're just going to have a good time. We'll see you down the road. All right, y'all, that is going to wrap this video up. Hey, I really had a great time putting this thing together and taking it out there on the roads uh, with my grandson. I think that's something that we're going to do quite frequently now. Um, you know, if I don't want the sidecar on, I think it's just as simple as removing that little connecting rod and uh, the little, you know, pin that goes through the bottom there on the swing arm. So not too much effort at all to, to get that off of there if I wanted to ride two wheels again. But I don't really see ever having the need. Uh, if you want an M1 PS Knight for yourself, uh, use my code BOGATOR on the AOR website at, at checkout. That'll get you $400 off. There's also going to be a link for that down in the description and in the pinned comment. While you're on the site, check out the sidecar, check out the back seat that they have available, some of the other accessories and tools that you can put on the Aora. Not my normal content with all the motorcycle stuff that I do, but uh, I really do like this uh, e-bike e scooter motorcycle electric motorcycle quite a bit so yeah thanks for coming along on this video and all videos and until next time we'll see you later